The attack on ghost guns isn't going anywhere. We're aware of the ATF's angle, but we have a bill submitted in both chambers, the House and the Senate, I want you to know about. Sit by and watch this episode of Guns and Gadgets to learn more. Today's video is brought to us by the Warrior Poet Society Network. If you're interested in television quality shows that are freedom-based to include training by John Lovell himself, then check out the Warrior Poet Society Network. I will have a link down below and in the pinned comment that you can click and check it out. And if you use the code GG10, GG10, you will save 10% off your monthly subscription just by using my code. You'll also see some of the prominent voices of the Second Amendment on Warrior Poet Society Network. So check them out, guys and gals. They're doing great things for our community, and I believe we should be supporting them. So thank you to the Warrior Poet Society Network for sponsoring today's video. Let's talk about ghost guns. Their term, not mine. I know there's people typing already. First, I want to remind everybody, you should be making comments if you haven't already. You can make multiple. Uh, on the ATF's uh, attempt to redefine frame and receiver, which will, will look to, uh, I guess, legislate away the ability to make your own firearms, even though they are not legislators and don't have the ability to make law constitutionally. Yeah, that's a different video altogether. Uh, so that we are aware of or should be aware of. I'll have links down below if you want to make comments on that or the stabilizing braces. We need to pump up those numbers. It's down below. I want to bring your attention to uh, a bill that was resubmitted in both the House and the Senate. I say resubmitted because this was attempted last session. And the bill is called the 3D Printed Gun Safety Act of now 2021, previously 2019. And it's the same bobos who are resubmitting this. In the House, it's uh, Congressman Ted Deutsch or Dutch or however he wants to say his name. He's from Florida. In the Senate, it's resubmitted by uh, Robert Menendez of New Jersey and... Ed Markey of Massachusetts, can't stand the guy, don't know how he gets uh, re-elected. That's right, Ed Markey, the same person who said that the summer heat is racist, don't believe me? This is a picture from his Facebook and he said, and I quote, because I can't make this stuff up, extreme heat is a justice issue. Within the same city, some neighborhoods can be 20 degrees hotter than others. Studies have shown that heat risk is disproportionately distributed to communities of color and patterns associated with segregation. <laughs> He's crazy. So the bill is the same as it was in 2019. Uh, and it was just re uh, resubmitted a couple days ago. The new bill numbers have not been assigned yet by the Library of Congress. So I will refer you to the previous versions, but I do have the, the verbiage of the new bill. So I, I will put that on screen here in a minute. Uh, but in 2019, the uh, House bill was House Resolution 3265. It had a total of 50 co-sponsors in the House, that's not a lot, and it died in committee. And in the Senate, it was S1831, same people submitted them, uh, Menendez and Markey and uh, Dutch Deutsch Dink, uh, 29 co-sponsors in the Senate. That's not a lot in the Senate. I mean, that's 29% of the Senate. Now, real quick, before I put the bill in front of you and read it, it's, it's an easy bill. Uh, it's ridiculous. I want to give you some of the quotes that these gentlemen, and I use that term loosely, uh, put out here the day before yesterday when they uh, re-announced the uh, resubmission of this bill. So this is what they're going at uh, to try to stir up support. Uh, they're saying that because 3D printing allows individuals to make firearms out of plastic, these guns may be able to evade detection by metal detectors at security checkpoints, increasing the risk that a firearm will be used to perpetrate violence on an airplane or in another area where people congregate. Now, we all know this is BS, but this is what they're going to do to stoke the fear to try to get the lemmings and the sheep to line up where they need them. Um, but uh, each person had a comment of their own. And we're going to start with uh, our Bobo here in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Uh, the same guy who says that the sun is racist, Senator Markey. He said, with no background check required, untraceable and undetectable 3D printed guns serve as the ultimate gun acquisition loophole. With the click of a mouse, anyone can download a computer file and use a 3D printer to manufacture a semi-automatic weapon. We cannot allow the online availability of downloadable firearms to add fuel to the fire that already is a massive gun violence public safety crisis. 
I thank Senator Menendez and Congressman Deutsch Dutch Dink for their tremendous partnership on this legislation that will help close a major safety loophole. A loophole doesn't exist. There isn't a, a huge amount of crime being perpetrated by ghost guns. Yeah, maybe here or there, but in general, uh, the gun community who's making these as a, a pastime, a fun thing, something that's been legal since the beginning of this land, uh, they're not out assassinating uh, people. It's just not happening. Senator Menendez was next on the uh, the Bobo train. He said, with the click of a mouse, anyone with an internal connection to a 3D printer essentially has a license to print, shoot, and kill. Undetectable and untraceable 3D printed guns allow criminals to circumvent law enforcement and commit crimes. That's why we must close the 3D gun loophole that allows dangerous individuals to exploit gaps in existing law to manufacture firearms at home they cannot otherwise legally obtain. And then Congressman Deutsch, Deutsch, whatever, got involved here. He said, 3D printers are increasingly used to manufacture everyday goods easily and cheaply. There's the problem. They're not getting any money out of it. But we cannot allow individuals to make deadly firearms with the same ease. These printers are capable of making high strength plastic firearms that are untraceable and undetectable. Something criminals and other individuals prohibited by law from possessing a firearm could use to evade our laws. Congress must take care to ensure that internet access does not equal gun access. So yeah, the typical scare tactics. Uh, now this issue has been in the forefront, at least uh, legally, in the past, the whole issue with Defense Distributed and how their lawsuits went through, uh, that was deemed freedom of information. You, you just can't stop the signal. So that stuff is out there and they're gonna try to legislate that away, but it still would be a violation of the First Amendment. Uh, and this is something that's totally legal. So here is the new bill on screen. Uh, you can see the act may be cited as 3D Printed Gun Safety Act of 2021. And it's the exact, same thing. There are 10 uh, little bullet points that they have in this bill. I'll rip through them real quick so you know where it stands and you'll uh, I'll also have a link to this down below. So the first one just says what 3D printing is. Second one just says is uh, technical technological developments that have been made recently that allows uh, parts and firearms to be printed. The third one says because 3D printing allows individuals to make their own firearms out of plastic, they may be able to evade detection by metal detectors. Again, stoking that fear. Number four is the availability of online schematics for 3D printing of firearms and firearms parts increase the risk that dangerous people, including felons, domestic abusers, and other prohibited people. Uh, so it, it's crazy. They're just trying to stoke the fear for the very few that might do that. Uh, but again, if you just uh, treated criminals like criminals and made them do the time for their violent crime, none of this would be an issue. And then just show how bad they're reaching. These are the, the issues that they're gonna throw out there to pe make people say, <gasps> Oh my God, this is terrible. It's so prevalent that they there's only a few of them. Uh, on June 7th of 2013, there's an issue there they brought up, and this is specific to an AR-15 lower, so they're gonna go after those two. The number six says uh, the ATF uh, traced and recovered 269,250 firearms. So if, if uh, ghost guns were easily traceable, they would be able to trace them, but it doesn't say how many they even had. So again, they're just throwing out a number uh, to uh, to pull the wool over somebody's eyes. Number seven says the numbers have to have serial numbers in order to be traced. Number eight uh, says criminals seek firearms without serial numbers because they cannot be traced. Again, they're gonna throw out so many numbers that you're gonna be shocked at how prevalent it is. Uh, actually, no, they're not. It's only gonna be from July 2018. LAPD, in a six month investigation, uh, seized 45 firearms, some of which had been assembled without serial numbers in order to be untraceable, just some. So not even 45, that's really not a major problem where the populace of America needs to have another law thrown on them. Uh, the actions of a few, will, will, according to this, must ruin it for everybody else. Again, number nine uh, goes and throws out some numbers that have nothing to do with how many <clears throat> ghost guns are out there. Um, again, I wanna scare people by trumping up numbers. And number 10 says uh, the proliferation of 3D printed firearms threatens to undermine the entire federal firearms regulatory scheme. Well, there you go. It's a scheme. It's unconstitutional. Uh, but again, there's no solid, no hard numbers. And uh, they say that con Congress must act to do this now. Now in the House to go along with uh, Ted Deutsch, Deutsch uh, 45 other uh, representatives have uh, co-sponsored this bill. And in the Senate, uh, 
to team up with uh, Captain the the uh, Son is racist and Menendez. Uh, Twenty six other senators have penned their name to this as well. So it's already behind the level of support that it had in 2019. And uh, we'll see how this goes. Again, as we speak right now, this isn't going to go anywhere. Um, that's why they're going to try to do this through the ATF, because they don't have the votes to get this through. And as long as we still have the, the filibuster and there's no filibuster reform that they're currently talking about, uh, as long as we have that, these, these bills aren't going anywhere. They're dead in the water. Um, that's why they're going to have the ATF to it. So I think this is a whole look here while this slides through, which is why I'm going to tell you again, make your comments. Links are down below. Don't let the uh, ATF operate with impunity. Uh, make your voices heard and just make sure that you make, leave your comments uh, the right way so that they get counted, which means all the information they're asking for and the directions needs to be there. So the 3D printed Gun Safety Act of 2021 has been submitted. Just wanted to bring it to your attention and uh, you know, don't forget uh, the sun is racist. I mean, it's pouring rain out here. It has been for like three days and it will be for another two. So I don't know, what, did, what does that put me on the social justice scale, scale if it's raining everywhere? I don't know. Help me out. Leave me a comment down below what you think about this bill and uh, whether you've commented or not. And uh, where do you live in the country? Is the sun racist in your neighborhood? <laughs> Let me know. Until we see each other again, be safe, stay vigilant, carry your weapons, subscribe to Guns and Gadgets if you want all of the news on the Second Amendment. This is where you're going to find it. I look forward to the next video with you. And until we see each other again, have a good one. Take care.